fans. The Fusion series has been around for a while now, and they're continuously improving. They're continuously adding pickup configurations and colors and trem or no trem and all that stuff. This is crooked. Now, they have some dark sisters. And dark they are, and cool they are. Also, in the higher Harley Benton price range, they are. Uh, so that's the Pro Series. Does it even say that? It says Pro Series. <laughs> it's right there. These two guitars are identical, except that this is a T-style that's an S-style. I can freaking say it. They can't. It's a freaking metal telly and a metal strat. Now, these have EMGs. So I can't see the telly right now, but all the strats are the same. Uh, bodies are Nayato. It's got roasted Canadian maple neck and fretboard, and holy balls are these nice necks, as you could clearly see in the slideshow at the beginning. Come on. You can already see locking tuners. And the Benton branded locking tuners are really good. Uh, I just had my signature modded and the Luthier said, these are pretty damn good tuners. We still put better ones on there, but I mean, for, for the price range, absolutely great tuners. Uh, C, neck. Uh, it says, well, black. Black dots. I'm not super happy with dots usually, but on these types of instruments, shape-wise, they work. And in the really dark roasted fretboard, that's actually kind of neat. Obviously, everything's black. Black, 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 black. Kind of maybe like the Ibanez, what are they, what are they called? FR800 series where everything was black, including the Ibanez logo that was so black that you couldn't see it black on black. 305 millimeter fretboard radius, 24 jumbo blacksmith stainless steel frets at that price range. Graftech tusk nut self lubricating, 42 millimeters here, pretty standard, 648 millimeter, or a young dolphin about four weeks old. Uh, scale length, two EMG retroactive hot 70s humbuckers. So not metal humbuckers, but active retroactive. Uh, um, and they're a little bit more classic-y. And we're going to talk about active pickups in a second. Now, right, I'm seeing that actually this distance is a little bit more than it usually would be. So they moved the humbucker a little bit further forward, maybe because it was a little bit too aggressive. top endy because of the activeness, the activity. Good choice. Master volume, master tone. There is no push-pulley. There is three position switch, and that's it. Uh, hip shot style hard tail. I can't see the difference between this and the actual hip shot, but it's hip shot style. And uh, how much more black could this guitar be? None. None. Is that good? Good? More black. Is that you'd like, you'd like Battery compartment for the pickups. Slightly rounded off here. Slightly, I mean, the tiniest bit shaved off here. The Strat doesn't have it, but this has a little bit of a tiny bit of a contour here. Completely pointless because who plays guitar like this? The fretboard is extremely flamed. Lumen lace with black surrounds. The guitar most certainly has all the features of a modern, highly bred rock or metal axe. And with the color scheme, if we can even call this, this is clearly for the heavier styles. Now, for those of you that don't know, active pickups are brighter. They have a clearer top end. And why is this? Well, usually on our pedal boards, 
the first pedal in the chain should be, if the other pedals can handle it, a buffer. Why? Because we're really sending a very, very low, 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 low signal through these cables. And top end gets lost with cable length. A buffer changes impedance. And that means that all of a sudden you can run longer cables with really not a lot of uh, signal loss. Now with an active pickup, Imagine that that happens already here. So the main cable going to your first pedal or amp or whatever um, is also kind of inconsequential and you don't have that top end loss. That is one thing. Um, they do sound and feel a little bit more compressed, which is also nice, but definitely a clearer top end, which means for the heavier things and more gain, that gives you more clarity. It also gives you um, not your classic kind of cleans. They are a bit more clinical maybe, but that's not a bad thing. So we're gonna start with this thing. Um, of course, we have a, a truss rod adjustment right here. Everything that a modern guitar is supposed to have. And looking at this really nice, chocolatey roasted neck, this is a pretty damn impressive instrument for 449. Yes, I'm getting paid to make this video. My opinion is my own. And if you just look at the specs, EMGs, locking tuners, uh, roasted maple neck and fretboard, uh, everything about it is not saying 449. So let's check this out. Into the Tone King, Sky King, nothing else on. Put some effects on there and you've got beautiful cleans for your 10 second intro, of course, that you do in your metal song. pushing there. So traditionally, those cleans will be beautifully sparkly on top, and that's what you want. Um, we're going to go through a bunch of amps now. I'm going to start with a super fat Soldano SLO 100 behind that other guitar there, which will sound like so.
So that works rather well. Let's go into a, a more modern voice amp, which is the Rev Generator 120 on the Purple Channel. <laughs> Works out to Vibrosone 2. Dumbly. right into the mini plexi from the marshals that's all not really heavy enough <laughs> The, we're gonna skip the Morgan. We're gonna go into the JCM 800 because that's what you want to know. <laughs> in the bottom end there. Let's try something. I mean, since they're the same guitar. Strat's a little bit lighter, but that's typical for uh, guitars from Indonesia that the the uh, spread is quite big in terms of, you know, weight and stuff. So you can't say, well, I'll, I'll just get the Strat, it's a little bit lighter. Mm, yours might be a little bit heavier. It's, it's all all over the place. But just to prove to you that they do sound the same. Headstock's a little bit different. That's a tele headstock. That's a st telesque, stratesque. Um, but generally, they all the specs are the same. So let's go into... What did I just turn on? The PV. 6505. That, why am I doing the wrong thing here? 14. That should be very heavy. <laughs> Feels like I haven't pushed the PV a lot. Next um, is the Engel Artist Edition. We're going through the high games. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
day and my it's working um 14 15 and now 16 yes and now we're in the orange rocker verb 50 <laughs> I guess see these sound pretty damn similar, do they? Well, let's try this again. Angle, wall, okay. Orange. I mean, realistically, you know, in a mix, yeah, the angle more low end, uh, we can push the gain on the 5150, and uh, the orange typically has the mid thing, but I mean, really subtle shit there. Bottom line is, you're getting for 449, a guitar with locking tuners, reversed headstock, amazing roasted mapleness, super smooth black paint job, and I just saw, I don't know if that was me, or if that was... I gotta check my pictures that I took if that was there already or if I did that at some point, but there's there's some paint missing. I gotta check if I did that, but it shouldn't really just, you know, flake off there that easily. So if you get one like this, that's the cool thing about the internet and Toman, you just send it back and said, give me one with all the paint. Done. I like the weight on these. I love the look on these. If you're playing this kind of stuff, you want all the blackness and the Fusion 3 with EMGs, that rhymes, has all the blackness. Which one would I rock? Probably the Tally. Why? I don't know. But that's what I would. I'll put links below, use them. Uh, if these are in stock, they're going really fast. So, you know, just wait till they're back or order now. Helps if you use my link. Also freaking helps if you subscribe, so do it! Animals at the end. Make the cross and then the squad! 